Hey, what's up everybody? Mike back with another video. So today we're going to be checking out JMGO's V8 native 1080p projector. A couple of you asked, is the V8 any better than the Xkimi H1? Well, we're going to find out. Now, there are some differences between the V8 and the Xkimi H1. First being, this thing has only got a 5,000 to 1 contrast ratio, while the Xkimi H1 had 10,000 to 1, and it was awesome, by the way. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the video description. Other differences are this is a liquid crystal on silicon based projector, the Xkimi H1 was not. This thing does have something where it actually beats the Xkimi H1 before we even take it out of the box. This thing has got natively 1100 ANSI lumens compared to the Xkimi H1 which was a 900 ANSI lumen projector. Now lumen count isn't everything, contrast ratio plays a big factor. Let's go test out the JMGO V8 native 1080p projector. So the JMGO V8. Now, higher lumen count is just one aspect of creating a great image. You're going to need a good contrast ratio. Now, the JMGO V8 has a contrast ratio of 5,000 to 1, while the Xkimi H1 had a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1, and they both cost about $1,000. So you might be asking yourself, what gives? Well, the V8 is a liquid crystal on silicon projector, which is a mashup between LCD and DLP, while the Xkimi H1 was just a single chip DLP projector with a 0.45 DMD. Now, in theory, at least, that the uh, V8, being a liquid crystal on silicon projector, should actually output better true-to-life colour and better contrast levels. Now, this is on theory. This is not true for all projectors but this is a topic for another video but I thought I actually mentioned this before we carry on with this review. So guys in terms of what you get as contents you get the power brick which happens to be a pretty hefty one definitely bigger than the Xkimi H1. We also get the uh, power lid to drive that brick and we get this remote control which has become almost a standard in higher end JMGO products. That being said, we also find inside the instruction manual, and what I'm looking for here is to see the screen size guide. There you go. This one has got it, and the writing is all in English as opposed to Chinese. We also get this really cool feature, which is a power-driven lens cap. This is the first projector that I've actually seen this feature on, and we get the Bluetooth speaker function instructions as well. Let me show you how the Bluetooth speaker function works. So to utilize the speaker function, have the projector on standby, go ahead and activate Bluetooth on your smartphone and you'll see some Chinese gibberish and then you'll see JMGO V8. Click on it and there you go. And once that is done, you are now connected to the projector as a Bluetooth speaker. So here's an audio clip so you get an idea of the speaker. If he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. And in terms of vocal clarity of using this as a speaker, here's a little sample. So looking around the projector on the base, you've got two adjustable feet, front and in the center, you've got a quarter inch thread and on the back, there's a big rubber tab. Coming around to the projector, the middle section of the projector, the gold part is made of metal and the rest of the projector is made of ABS plastic. And in terms of rear I.O., you've got a LAN port, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, full-size HDMI, and you've got a 3.5mm or an AUX input, rear IR sensor, plenty of heat dissipation going on along the bottom of the projector. That's pretty cool. And finally, you've got that DC power input as well. So a little while ago in the video, I mentioned the power lens cover. So if I press and hold the power button on the top of the projector, you'll see that that lens cover will drop right now and the projector will actually start working. And then let me just show you. There you go. Now, if we do this in reverse, you can actually reverse this and the lens cover will come up, which is an awesome feature, especially if you're using this on the go or if you're taking this with you or if you just want to protect against dust. Now one thing JMGO do very well is offer OTA updates on their higher end products and as you can see one is going on right now. I was actually halfway through updating the Keystone correction and this popped up so I thought why the hell not. Now while this is doing this let me tell you this doesn't have an app store which could be a deal breaker for some people. This is a custom ROM on this thing and it doesn't give you access to Aptoid or Google Play Store. The easiest way to go around this is to just use your PlayStation Xbox or a Virgin TV, Virgin Media TV box, Sky TV box, whatever you're using or you can just plug in an Android TV box itself. Job done. Uh, there you go, it's rebooted. Let's go take a look at the menu. 
Another cool feature that the V8 has within the actual image menu, you can actually select automatic correction. This will give you a perfectly focused image and it will be razor sharp 1080p goodness. Let it run its course, it takes about 35 seconds. While it's going through this process, you can use any function on the remote control, you can't even press back, can do anything. And once that is done, you've also got access to digital zooming. All of this will help you align your projector to your screen if this is like an upgrade. You also have access to four corner keystone correction, which is again a must at this price point and I'm happy to report it. its operation is seamless. It's really easy to use and it's perfect in pretty much every single respect. Other than that you also have custom themes just like on the JMGO E8 we looked at which is a nice touch especially to the user experience. I can also happily report that connecting my Note 8 to the projector via HDMI was no problem. I had a really nice sharp image. So guys, how about we fire this thing up and check out what the video quality looks like. Now some of the video was shot downstairs and some of the video was shot upstairs in the bedroom. So white screen, grey screen, so here's a mixture of both. So guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. So are you going to be left in the cold if you were to buy this projector? Well, the simple answer is it might not be for everybody because it's lacking that Android OS. What you're seeing on the screen is a plugged in TV box. But this projector has got some insane features from that automatic lens cap to the actual focusing. It is really, really good. Image quality wise, I would say in terms of video quality and true to life color, this thing is almost on par with my Xiaomi laser projector, which honestly is a big ask, but it does, it, I think it's genuinely that close. Bluetooth speaker and the audio quality is pretty superb. No issues, no distortion, even at the highest volume levels. Build quality generally on this thing is superb, as with all JMGO products. So if you guys want to check it out, links in the video description, feel free to go check it out. Also guys, I'm doing a competition internationally for one of you guys to win a £2,000 Xiaomi laser projector. Details are in the video description, feel free to go check it out. Watch that video so you know exactly what to do. With all of that said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. I'll catch you next time.